Today's video is actually a viewer question that was asked to me on my Instagram and someone who reached out to me and said, how do you not talk about yourself so much in your own podcast without sounding narcissistic? Believe it or not, this is a question that gets asked quite a bit and I'm going to answer that coming up next. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Ashan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. In today's video, we are talking about how you cannot talk so much about yourself in your own podcast without feeling as though you are very full of yourself. Uh, this is a question that gets asked all the time, either through my Instagram or right here in the comments on YouTube or through Facebook Messenger. And it's typically a problem that beginning podcasters have. They have this problem with figuring out, well, I want to create a podcast, but how do I make it to where I'm not talking about myself the entire time? And how can I make it a little more entertaining? Now, I'll say this in, disclo in disclosure that these are only my opinions on how I feel you should, I guess, execute on creating a podcast that where you're not talking about yourself so much. So these are just my thoughts. It's based off of 20 years of radio. It's based off of 10 years of podcast editing. So I will tell you exactly what I have done and what I've seen other people do to, I guess, uh, not sound so full of themselves, all right? This is something that is really going to be your choice and no one else's. So it's going to be completely up to you. But if you have a little bit of a self-conscious and you're saying, ah, you know, I, I feel a little full of myself, maybe these steps will help you out. So today we're going to identify three things that you can do to not sound like you're talking about yourself so much. So before we get into it, I want to welcome you. If you are a brand new person who is looking to start a podcast and you don't know where to start, you're looking for equipment, you're looking for the area in which to start, which equipment should I buy? Where do I even start? I have an equipment guide that you can go ahead and download right now. The link for that is down in the description of this particular YouTube video. Go ahead and check it out and we'll get you started right away. So let's go ahead and start with our very first step that we can take. Now we need to identify in this very first step, what is the purpose of our podcast? Is the purpose of our podcast meant to educate or is it meant to entertain? If you've watched any of my previous videos in my YouTube library, you hear me talk about all the time, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to educate or are you trying to entertain with your podcast? So if you have a self-help podcast, you are likely trying to uh, enter, uh, I'm sorry, educate. If you have a sports podcast, maybe you're doing a little more entertaining and educating together. Maybe you have a business podcast, you're educating. A comedy podcast, probably entertaining, but there are podcasts out there that are comedy podcasts that educate and entertain at the same time. So you really have to figure out and identify what the purpose is of your podcast. Maybe it's just solely and strictly going to be educational and that's completely okay, but that is going to be something that you have to figure out. It's nothing that anyone like me or any other uh, podcast coach could tell you. You're going to have to figure that out for yourself. Next, we need to figure out whether or not our podcast is going to be front facing or is it back facing? And I'm going to tell you right now, it's got to be front facing. All right. And what do I mean by front facing? Well, as an example, a few years back, there was a really good example that I saw on LinkedIn when I was doing some LinkedIn training courses and someone had said, you know, the best way to have a LinkedIn profile is to actually make it client facing. In other words, make your profile to where you are offering up um, I guess, text and details that will help your ideal client. And this is no different in podcasting when it comes down to making your podcast front facing or listener uh, facing. You want to be able to help the listener achieve some type of goal or solve some type of problem that they might be struggling with. This way you can be able to provide steps and advice in order to get those people to continue to listen to your podcast. It's very similar to what you're seeing me do right here on this YouTube video and in my channel in particular. If you go through any of my videos on my YouTube channel, you see that I'm answering a specific question. I'm not making it about me. I am making it about what I have learned in the process of podcasting and podcast producing and sharing my thoughts and pushing it and making it listener faced. Okay. So I'm helping the listener. I'm helping the viewer. So in order to not talk about yourself so much, solve problems. That's going to be the most important thing. You've got to solve some problems um, when it comes down to, I guess, educating your uh, audience that is going to be listening. Are there burning questions that your listeners have? Invite them to ask those questions to you. Create a modality of communication, whether it be on Facebook, Instagram, uh, in YouTube comments, wherever it may be, so they can ask those questions so that you can help them out, genuinely help them out. 
That's how you don't talk about yourself too much. And you, of course, can use some stories. You can use examples. Just as I used in this particular video, I talked about the LinkedIn example. It was a very small example where I talked about an experience that I had, but it wasn't necessarily all about me. It was based on an example to give you an example and tell stories in order to get the listener to understand and relate to you. Step number three, you can grab other people's content and you can analyze it and say, you can talk about it over the course of, I say, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Maybe you break it down. It's very, very simple to do this. You could take a, an article that is a news article, maybe from uh, one of the news websites, and you can break it down and say, okay, step one, step two, step three. These are the things that I see um, wrong with you know the coronavirus pandemic or things that I see that are right with coronavirus pandemic. You can elaborate on a number of issues that you basically are analyzing in an article. That's just one way of doing it. Now, can you incorporate your own stories within an article analysis? Yeah, of course you can. Maybe don't make it entirely about you, but you can give examples, side examples, and share how it may relate to you not necessarily tell the entire story about yourself. So under the step, what you can do is you can create a list of items that you wanna talk about, and this jumps right into step number four, organize your thoughts. In radio and how we have done it for years and years and years, is we have always organized our thoughts. And I know exactly what I am going to say from the time I key the mic to the time that I key the mic off and close out my segment or close out my break or whatever it may be, my breaks are very, very, very small versions of podcasts. They are not longer versions of podcasts, but you can do them in your own podcast. So what we're doing is we are organizing our thoughts to where it makes sense. So as an example, this last weekend, as of this recording, uh, I watched three concerts on YouTube. I watched a Foo Fighters concert, I watched a Pearl Jam concert, and I watched uh, Post Malone cover Nirvana tunes. And as I came into work, after I watched that, as I came into work tonight, I knew exactly what I wanted to talk about when it came down to the songs that were going to be played on the radio tonight. And so when I got ready to play the brand new track from Pearl Jam, I broke down the quick story of what I experienced in my kitchen while I was cooking dinner and said, I consumed three concerts this weekend, a Foo Fighters, Pearl Jam, and Post Malone concert, and it made me really miss going out and experiencing concerts. But then, as I continued to tell that story and share what the good things were about that concert, I played a song from Pearl Jam that segued really nice that helped the listener create some imagery in their own mind to think like, oh yeah, I have been at concerts and and I do miss going to concerts. Maybe I'll check out a YouTube video of a new concert. So you can use stories in order to, I guess, put the cherry on top of whatever it is that you want to talk about. Now, in terms of podcasting, maybe you're doing more of an analysis in the comedy niche. And I'm not a comedian by any means, but I do have some friends that are comedians and they mix both education and entertainment both together. That is with the uh, Crime and Sports Podcast and the Small Town Murder Podcast. Uh, my friends, uh, uh, James and Jimmy, they both comb through a murder. They tell the facts, educate the audience, and then they add their own little banter to entertain the audience. So they're not necessarily talking about themselves. They're kind of, I don't know if it would be ragging, but they're commenting or they're creating an analysis of something else. So when we're talking about something like, say, self-help, maybe you have been through a particular difficult time. Maybe you want to share a couple stories, but then you may want to share steps to help your listener achieve the next step or goal. If this video has helped, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell notification so you can get notified when I will drop a brand new video to this particular YouTube channel. And of course, as always, you're welcome to leave comments down in the section below. Maybe there's something that I didn't cover in this particular video. I'm only human and I don't get to cover everything in all of my videos. So I'm more than happy to keep the conversation going in the comments down below. And of course, over here on your right hand side, I do have another video that might help you out on your podcasting journey. Go ahead and click on that and I will see you next time. Take care.